This is the beginning of part 3 of the video review on dynamic user directory module from DataSprings. So the new field is up here. I'm going to just put it, well, let's leave it there. I don't care about the, the position right now. If I go back to my list and now I'm logging as John, if I go to John's profile, my profile, I should be able to edit this profile and my Twitter account will be, will be asked at the top. Let's say that my Twitter is John Smith. Well, I think that zero did not work out well for this. Let me go back to the fields and let's say that this will be, I don't know, 100 size. So let's click next, then return to profile properties, fifth length, okay. So now if I refresh this page, I should be able to type in, yes, my Twitter account, John Smith. That's my Twitter account. And I'm going to update this. So now my account has a Twitter account. If I go back to the director listing, I want to show that Twitter account here in the detail view. Now let's see if we can do that. Let's go back as admin. Let's go to the template of the detail view. Let's go to the action menu, control panel. And then from here, let's go to the template directory, directory template actually. And I was expecting that that new field should show up here. So I will be able to use that in my listing. Um, let's see if this is ready to cache in. Let's maybe refresh here, try to make the schedule run again. Not sure if this is related or not. Maybe this is just a feature that is not here. Okay, so let's go back to the template, control panel, and now I can see it here. Yeah. So either I was a bit blind that I did see it first time, or actually I did have to run the, the scheduler to make sure that this data would get refreshed as well. So I think, I think I had to refresh it as I did right now. So I'm just going to put my new Twitter field fields. So let's call this Twitter account and this is the the tag the token let's put this in bold let's save the template update now let's go back here in the directory listing let's click on john perfect so i can see twitter account john smith and of course if i click address and there's no twitter account there so it will be empty yes it's working like that very good now, what I want to experiment next is with the search capability of the module. So, if I go back to the admin view, and I can, uh, there is a there is a an option that says search fields. So uh, let's explore this a little bit here. So let's say that we want to allow people to search by first name, and the criteria will be. I say that it contains, which should be anywhere in the first name, name field, and uh, search label. I'll put this as first name. Default value. There's no default value. It's a text box. It will be searchable. Otherwise, it will not be displayed. And I'm going to click update. So, what we can can do here is we can create several search conditions. And if I flip back as an unlogged user, if I refresh this, now I, I can see that there is the first criteria there. First name contains, let's say that uh, DER. And I, if I hit search, yep, it did search. It found my name, which, con which contains DER. If I delete that, search again, it will show everything. If I say, if I say, no, John, it should show only John. It's perfect. It worked fine. Now I can add multiple fields here. So I can say that I want to allow people to search by first name and last name. And when I say last name, I can click on contain. I can say that the, def the search label will be uh, last name, input text box. I can say that this is a, an and or or condition. 
So uh, I can also say that this is a search bar not. If it's not checked, this condition will not be displayed. I'm gonna, I want it to be displayed. I click update. And if I go back there, refresh the page, I will see now first name and last name. And if I say Oli, click search. Yep, it did search. Okay. So this is how you can go about doing uh, setting up a, a search with the director, the dynamic user directory as well. Now, the last thing that I want to explore in this module is the ability to create SEO friendly URLs for the for the user uh, for the user detail page. So, for instance, the idea here is that if I click on Ederson, my name would be in the URL as well. So I want to explore that a little bit and see how we can go about doing that. So let's go to the admin view and under admin, I can click on module configuration and under module configuration, there is a section that says detail SEO. So from here, I should be able to click on show name in detail link. And by doing so, what I'm hoping to accomplish is that the detail link will have the the name of the user in the URL. So let's save this. Now, if I go back to the directory as a regular user, refresh this, if I click in, let's say my name, well, I was expecting to have the name up here. Now, after having a quick, a closer look, here's what I think it's happening. Uh, when I'm coming back to the module configuration, it seems that this checkbox is not getting saved as I click save, exit control panel. If I go back there, control panel, and then scroll, uh, go to the module configuration, scroll down, detail SEO, it gets unchecked automatically. So I guess that this is for some reason not getting saved. Most likely it's a little bug, but I'm sure that the spring will be able to fix that quite quickly. Now, going uh, is still going here on the SEO aspect of it. Uh, we can also create an alternate a title tag for the page for the detail page. So even though we're not able yet to make sure that we have the username in the URL, but let's try to manipulate a little bit the title of our detail page. So let's go back to admin. And let's see if we can put here, let's say first name, and then last name. And this will be directory, directory detail, directory detail. Okay. So let's save this and let's have a look here in our directory. Let's refresh this page. As you can see at the top, now it's showing the first name and last name of the user that has been current seen. If I go back to the directory, if I click John, you can see there that you can see the first name and last name as well. So this is good for SEO, good to be able to manipulate that even better will be when we are, we are also able to put that in the URL as well. So just to do a quick recap, the only two aspects that uh, we're not able to really make it work properly was the, the idea of uh, putting the username in the URL and the image, but other than that, the directory worked quite well. Uh, we were able to do search, we were able to do filtering by roles, exclude roles, include roles. We, we were able to, to set up the list template, the detail template. And again, good choice if you want to to create a directory, a user listing based on roles, based on anything on your website. Okay, so that's a review of dynamic user directory module from Data Springs, and I will for sure get back when, when I get a response from them in terms of URL and the image, the, the user thumbnail. Okay, thank you very much, and that's it for now.